breaking news, Mr. or in fact, Dr. John Klope has resigned from EJSC. DA has also uh, welcomed the, resigna the resignation of U Dr. Klope from EJSC. JSC, on the other hand, they are saying they are still waiting for the resignation letter of Mr. In fact, Dr. John Klopp. Yes, he has resigned from the JSC, but not from the MK party, nor from parliament. So, get that clear. MK party released the letter today speaking about the resignation of Mr. or Dr. John Klopp. After that letter, they then sent us or released the proof that they have sent this to Parliament Speaker, informing Parliament about the decision made by MK Party and Dr. Klopp to resign from the JSC. I have the evidence here on my phone, so I'm definitely going to share that. And let's start with the letter. Wait a minute, what's, what's happening? The letter here is dated the 6th of September 2024. However, it was sent to us today the 7th of October, 2024. The heading of the letter says, Dr. Lopez's resignation from the JSC with immediate effect. Okay. Mr. L Look, the MK party has formally written to the Speaker of National Assembly to withdraw the nomination of um, of party leader in parliament. Dr. Thorpe is one of the uh, designated members of the National Assembly to serve in the Judicial Service Commission, JSC. This withdrawal takes e effect immediately. Yes. One will say that's a victory for the Democratic Alliance, Freedom and the Law, Akhmet at the Katranda Foundation, the list goes on. Because those are, some of them were friends of the court, some of them, you know, that is what they would have hoped for. That is what they were gunning for. So, they have won. Is that what the letter seeks to suggest? I don't know. You know what I know? If you give me time, let me dissect the letter. Definitely, I'll do so. But before I can successfully dissect the letter, I would have loved and appreciate if you can dissect the, uh, the the button below by doing this. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge, and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financially contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks Party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay so let's proceed with the letter because you are here for that it reads as follows mk party will not allow the name of dr dr john Thorpe mp to be associated or used to legitimize a, a, look, a patently misleading, fraudulent, 
and improper constituted judicial service commission. Huh. You know, I thought about it and I said to myself, wait a minute. If Lope resign, does it mean that the JSC is sitting there um, without meeting the, the corrupt? You know, I thought about that. And I'm reading here and I'm, I'm, I'm asking myself a question. Is MK Party suggesting that uh, the absence of Dr. Lopper will have effect on whether or not they meet the decorum of the court? I mean, sorry, not decorum, but quorum of the JSC. Let's proceed. With the letter, it reads as follows. MK Party remains the remain attend, MK Party maintains that the composition of the JSC without Dr. Lopez's participation as a representative from the leading opposition party is a violation of section one seven eight bracket one bracket. A, a bracket H of the Constitution. Aha. Now I see. Now I see now. I see where MK Party is going. They continue to say, this JSC has failed to meet the prescribed minimum threshold of three members of the opposition parties. We further believe that that the will of the overwhelming number of people of South Africa who voted for the participation of, of Dr. Thorpe in all uh, parliament duties assigned to him has um, as been severely and constitutionally undermined. Okay. Okay, okay. I see where MK Party is going with this. Now I see. I think it is exactly how I thought of it. But what I'm going to do, let's look at now the letter that was sent to Parliament by MKP. In a letter uh, which says, Mrs. Angela Togozile Titiza, Honorable Speaker of the National Assembly, Parliament of South Africa, Cape Town, 800 email speaker, Obviously, by Parliament, right? Copy Honorable Chief Justice Maya. Uh, okay. Then they said withdrawal of MK Party nominee Dr. Lope. Then they say, Dear Honorable Speaker, please be advised that MK Party is withdrawing Dr. Lope as a nominee to the designated National Assembly member to serve in the Judicial Service, in the Judicial Service Commission, JSC. This withdrawal takes effect immediately. Kindly notify the chairperson of the JSC, Honorable Chief Justice Meyer, on this development. Um, Honorable Mzwanele Mani, MK Party Chief Whip, dated 07 uh, 07 October 2024. Okay. That is interesting. Okay. I understand where MK Party is headed towards. I see where they are, what they are doing. Um, the JSC, on the other hand, they said they haven't received the resignation letter. I saw that recently, before I could even film this video. But, you know, I am going to have to watch this, how it transpires. Right now, what MK Party is basically doing is, let's set a trap for the JSC. And they will forever fall into that trap. I'm very much interested to see how this is going to pan out. But this is MK Party.
forever ready, forever thinking. They are not lazy when it comes to thinking. Okay? So, guys, I'll definitely see you on the next episode. Till such a time, please take care.